we go. All right. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Noon, Friday, Inferno Hot Pilates. Uh, what you will need today is obviously your mat, probably a towel and some water. Um, I, when we get to the standing series, I will offer some options with weights but you don't need them. Um, I did this workout a couple days ago and it's really, really good without the weights, but I will offer that if you wanna amplify it up a little bit and get some arms in there. Um, it's heavy on core today, so, um, and that's, not, that's intentional. Uh, we have a lot of core issues that we're dealing with globally, nationally, and I really, really encourage everybody to focus on the core and not necessarily the fringes. So the fringes can be distracting, but when we keep focused on the core, we really can gain momentum to move forward for whatever we're trying to gain momentum for. Um, so with that, let's just get grounded. We'll get on our backs and get into our bodies a little bit. Um, for those of you that do have the playlist in the chat, um, I'll count you down and we'll start that all together. And then I'll stay on after we get into a little bit of Shavasana. If you have questions about where to donate, how to donate, um, or you need more links or anything like that. So thank you guys again. All donations today are being matched by me and do donating to the Know Your Rights um, Legal Fund that will help um, folks mostly in Minneapolis. All right, let's get started. So just lay down and start to feel the weight of your body on your mat. Start to feel all of the places that you feel connected to the ground, to the mat, to the earth, and start to lengthen your breath. Taking some deep inhales through your nose. And full exhales. Good. Deep inhales. And on your next exhale, really try to focus on where you might be feeling tension in your body and try to ground it out. Let it go. Let it seep out through your feet. And in every area you're connected to the mat, ground it down into the earth. And on your inhales, try to draw the energy from the earth into your body, taking whatever you need. Holding that at the top just for a second, taking maybe one more sip when you feel complete. And then H-A, open mouth, loud exhale, let it all go. One more time, just like that. Inhaling deeply, taking in all that you need. Intentional exhale, dissolving any tension or tightness that might be in your body that you need to let go of. On your next natural breath, bring your ankles right underneath your knees. Have your feet about hip width distance, so that's about two fists, and your toes pointing forward. Have your fingertips down by your heels. It's okay if they don't touch. Move your scapulas down the mat so your shoulders come away from your ears. Good. Have a little tuck in your chin to lengthen out the spine. Good. And we're going to just get into some back, lower back warming up, some bridges. So take a deep inhale. And as you inhale, pull your pelvic floor up tight. Good. And as you exhale, you're going to tuck and curl your pelvis. And then you're going to use your hips. You're going to drive your hip bones up to the ceiling for our first Pilates bridge here. You'll feel your right and your left glute engage. Spread your fingers wide and push down into the mat so you warm up your arms. Inhale. And exhale, nice and slow, come down each vertebrae, touching one at a time. Again, just like that inhale, pull up your pelvic floor, tuck and curl your pelvis, and then hip bones come up, keeping your scapulas on the mat. Good, squeezing your glutes here and engaging your core. So make it like you're getting ready for a punch. And then inhale, exhale, come down nice and slow. Beautiful. One more, just like that. Inhale deep. Squeeze, tuck, curl, and rise. Inhale at the top. Exhale, come down slow. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we'll do some spinal articulation. So we're going to roll that marble, make that triangle. So thumbs go right beneath your belly button. Fingertips go right above your pubic bone. Marble's in the middle. We're going to start out by rolling that marble down towards our fingertips. So we're going to take a deep inhale. And as we inhale, we're gonna arch our back as much as we can. Our pelvis is gonna tip down towards our fingertips so that marble rolls down towards our fingertips. Good. 
Ribs spread wide open, thoracic cavity gets big. Exhale, and now you're gonna tuck and curl, rock your pelvis back so that that marble goes back towards your thumb. Squeeze together, squeeze your pelvic floor. I'll show you what it looks like standing. So you're gonna inhale and arch. Good, and then exhale, tuck. Rock that pelvis back, squeeze at the top. Inhale, arch. And exhale, tuck. Good, we're gonna use that exhale, tuck and curl when we start to get in our bridge series. And then relax down into neutral spine. You'll have a little bit of a gap in between the mat and your back. So we'll start getting into our bridge series. So if you guys wanna start the music, I will count you down. Let me get there. So it should be um, starting with uh, my sueno. And I will count you guys down. We will press play in five, four, three, two, one, play. There we go. All right, so let's get into our hip bridge position. Hip width distance. So feet are forward. Good. Hip width distance. Ankles right underneath your knees. And fingertips facing down towards your heels. Little tuck in your chin, pull your pelvic floor up, take a deep inhale, exhale, tuck, curl, and rise. Squeeze it tight here. Now come down slow, hover your tailbone nice and slow. Good, come up and rise, come down and hover. Let's go up, squeeze, down, hover. Up, squeeze your butt, down, hover your tailbone. Yes, up, squeeze down, hover, exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Let's lift, squeeze, lower, hover, up, squeeze, lower, hover, double time, up, down, up, and down. Let's go, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, good. This is your opportunity right now to really, really pay attention to your right and your left glute, especially when you come up, squeeze it tight at the top, go all the way up, Hover down, up and down. Driving through your heels. Good, exhaling through your teeth. That exhale will increase your core engagement. So we're using our core, pulling that pelvic floor up, protecting our lower back in five, four, three, two, one. Keep your hips up, calf raises. So come up onto your tippy toes. Heels are just gonna go up and down. Let's go, up and down, up and down. Good, warming up our calves here, up and down with our heels, keeping our hips up so our hips just stay up and our heels just come up and down. High up, rolling them down nice and slow. Yeah, yeah, legs can shake, that's a good thing. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt, tight, tight, tight. Yeah, yeah, from here we'll go to pulses, almost there up and down nice and slow squeeze your butt good if you've lost that pelvic floor engagement keep that tight keep that belly as if you're getting ready for that punch five four three pulse in two one hips up heels up pulse it up 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 and up so good pulse pulse you got it Woo. warming it up this afternoon Just little lunch time in Hot Pilates. Let's go, pulse and pulse, squeeze it tight at the top. Squeeze it so tight. Good, good, good. Keep pressing your arms into the mat. Keep those shoulders away from your ears and keep that little tuck in your chin. Stay high up on those tippy toes. Keep those hips up, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Focus on right and left glute. Here we go, almost there. Less than 10 seconds, five, Four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Woo. Bring the, your hips down. Bring your knees in. Stretch out your hamstrings a little bit. Roll out your ankles. All right. So we're going to get into some figure four bridges. Oh, you know what? I, I would take that back. We are going to plant you know, on your heels. So flex your feet. So right heel is closer towards your butt. Left heel is gonna extend a little bit of an out. So you're in like two Vs, but 
left is extended out, right is closer to your butt, and you're gonna extend or flex your feet so your toes are gonna come back towards your shins. Full range of motion bridges. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, yeah, yeah. Up, squeeze, down, hover. Five more like this. You have four, double time. In three. Yeah, in three. In two. Last one, double time. Let's go, lower, lift, lower, lift. Yeah, yeah, up. Let's go, let's go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh yeah. Really, really focus on that right glute. Oh yeah, booty work. Let's go. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it so tight at the top. Keep that pelvic floor engaged. Almost there. Here we go, we'll pulse in five, four, Three, two, and one. Pulse it up. Pulse it up, 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 up. Yep. Let's go. Come on. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep that little tuck in your chin. Keep that core so tight. Oh, yeah. Woo. Love the burn. Really flexing those feet. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We got it. Other side coming up. You have five. Four, three, two, one. Let it go. Come down. Switch legs. Left heel comes in. Right heel goes out. Keep those feet flexed. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we lift and lower. Lift and lower. Yeah, yeah. Squeeze and hover. Squeeze it tight. Up and down. Flex those feet. Let's go. Up and down. Double time. In five. In four, breathe. In three, in two, double time. Here we go. Last one, we go lift, lower, lift, lower. Yeah, yeah. Up, down, up, down. Good. Feet are flexed. Really now focusing on that left glute. This mimics almost like a one legged uh, bridge. Good. Core is tight. Send that belly button back towards your spine pressing the hands into the mat engaging your triceps squeeze 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 it at the top you have pulse in five four three two pulse it up here we go pulse little pulses so pulses they're little micro movements you're just moving about an inch up and down increasing that time under tension right here I feel it. I feel it. I'm getting warm. I don't know about you guys. I'm getting warm. Here we go. Almost there. Halfway done. 15 seconds. We got this. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. Good. Bring it down. Knees come in. Roll those ankles out. Stretch out those hamstrings. All right, y'all, let's make a wide-legged bridge. So feet come out at least shoulder-width distance. Toes are going to point out. Heels are going to point in. That'll activate your gluteus medius. Heels come underneath your knees. A little tuck in that chin. Bring your shoulders down. Full range of motion in three, two, one. Let's go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We know what to do now. We start with our good time. Here we go. Lift, lower. Exhale and inhale, good. Keep that pelvic floor pulled in tight, supporting your lower back, up and down. Keep those knees from bowing in when you come up, okay? Keep those knees over your toes. You even can amplify by flexing your toes and coming onto the lateral edge of your feet. We have five, four, three, two, one. Hips up, pulse your knees out, 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 out. Yeah. Whoo, keeping that scapula on the mat, but keep those hip bones driving up towards the ceiling. Pulse, 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 pulse. Little pulses. So knees come out. 
Don't let them come in too far. Woo! Yeah. From here, we'll pull straight up. All right, this is our last one. This is our home stretch. We got this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it up. Let's go. Pulse up. Squeeze, squeeze. I know, I know. Woo! I feel it, I feel it. Breathe into that. Enjoy. Change never happens in our comfort zones, right? Woo, get a little uncomfortable. That's okay. Push it to that threshold. Back off if you feel pain. Listen to your body. When you listen to your body, your body listens to you. Tell it what to do. Mind over matter. You got this. Almost there. Just five, four, three, two, one, and done. Woo, good. Bring it down. Ah, knees in, rolling it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're working with Tabata timing. We're gonna do 30 seconds on, five seconds transition. If you need to take more rest than that, that is completely fine. So we are going to start with our legs up in the air. Yeah. So you can either have heels to heavens like so, or you can have your feet separated just a little bit. And we're just gonna be reaching opposite hand to opposite foot. All right, after that, we'll do some right leg only V-ups. We'll do some crisscrosses. And then we'll do left leg V-ups. For the crisscross, have your hands underneath your booty to support your lower back. You're gonna go crisscross, crisscross, wide. Crisscross, crisscross, wide. All right, so you're gonna come out wide every fourth one. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we have those four moves. We're gonna at least do two rounds, maybe three, we'll see. All right, here we go. So starting with those feet up, opposite hand, opposite foot. Three, two, one, here we go. Let's reach, 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 yeah. Your legs can be together or they can be separated. If you wanna get a little bit more into your obliques. Now, if this is uncomfortable for your neck, you can always cradle your neck and just bring your torso, your shoulders up. But the legs up will amplify the lower abdominal work. From here, going to those right-sided V-ups, left leg stays down, right arm, sorry, left arm, right leg coming up together. Let's go. Good. Now you can do this with a straight leg, or you can do this with a bent knee. Either way, you are controlling the descent as you come down. You can use momentum at the top, but then just control the descent as you come down. From here, we're going to those crisscrosses. Three, two, one, transition good. Our, our feet or hands <laughs> under your booty, let's go. Crisscross, crisscross, wide. Crisscross, crisscross, wide. Crisscross, crisscross, wide. Yep, we got it. So good. Now, if your lower back is coming up, like I said, put your hands under your booty or raise your legs up a little bit. Oh yeah, from here, left side V ups. So left leg, right arm, three, two, one, transition. Here we go, left or right arm, left leg via. Ready, set, and go. Straight leg or bent knee. Woo! Oh yeah. From the top after this, three, two, one, and change. Good, right, set, or sorry, legs up, opposite hand, opposite foot, ready, set, let's go. Use those exhales, belly comes back toward your spine. Oh yeah. Let's go up and up. I have super tight hamstrings, so it's super hard to keep my feet straight. Three, two, 
one and change right side v ups right leg left arm three two one and go Ooh. bent knee or straight leg we got it we got to go all the way all the way all the way let me see let me see you Oh yeah, oh yeah. V ups. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Criss crosses. Here we go. Criss cross, criss cross wide. Criss cross, criss cross wide. Yeah, yeah. Criss cross, criss cross wide. So good. If you want to amplify this, you can lift up your head or lift up your torso. Keep your neck in line, so look up at the ceiling. Left leg VMs coming up. Keep going, keep going all the way, all the way. Three, two, one, and change. Here we go, right arm, left leg. Three, two, one, and go. Oh yeah. These are so good, these will get your, Rectus abdominis, your glad, glamour muscles, oh, your transverse abdominis, your lower abs. We're getting it all. Let's go all the way, all the way. You have five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. Good, stretch it out. Woo! Yeah, yeah. All right. You guys doing great? Good, good, good. All right. So come on to uh, your come on to your left side. We are gonna do some planks and some more abs. So um, you guys are going to keep your bottom knee down if you'd like. You can totally grab a weight if you want to amplify this. But you're gonna come up. You're gonna do it el same elbow to same knee crunch and stretch, crunch and stretch. From here, you're gonna stay in your side plank. You can either keep your knee down or you can come up in a full side plank and we're gonna do elbow crunches. So I'll guide you from there, okay? We're gonna start with those two side plank options to get a little bit more into those obliques, okay? All right, starting with same elbow to same knee, left leg down, here we go. Stretch it and crunch it. Inhale, exhale as you crunch. Oh yeah. Your hips dip a little bit in the crunch, they come up in the stretch. Going to those elbow crunches in three, two, one, transition. So come all the way up into your side plank. You're more than welcome to kickstand here. Here we go, elbow crunch. So elbow, right elbow, comes down to the opposite hand. Oh yeah, keep those hips up, squeeze your butt. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Flex your feet at the bottom. Okay, from here, I'll tell you when to change. Stay here, three, two, one, change. Come onto your backs. Knees apart like you're in your wide-legged bridge position. Opposite hand to opposite knee. Little crunches. Keep those knees wide. Let's go, let's go. Up and up. You gotta breathe. So your torso your, uh, it's like your shoulders are just coming up, your scapulas. We'll transition in three, two, one. Good, come back onto your back, heels up. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Three, two, one, and go. Again, if this bothers your neck, just cradle your neck and bring your shoulders up. Keep your elbows wide. Let's go. Keep going. 
Keep going, reaching, reaching. Opposite to opposite. Opposite to opposite. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. Good. All right, come on to your right side again. Or were, were we doing right or left? Whatever side you were doing, do the same side. All right, same side. Right sided plank or left sided plank, whatever, or wherever you were. We're gonna do the crunches. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Crunch, extend. Crunch, extend. Crunch, extend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Knee or hips dip down when you crunch, up when you extend. From here, we're going to those elbow crunches in our side plank in five, four, three, two, one. Good. Side plank, flex your feet, elbow crunch, crunch, and up. Crunch, and up. Oh, yeah. Crunch, and up. Squeeze your booty. Squeeze that bottom glute. Keep those hips up. From here, we will transition to our backs. You have five, four, three, two, one. Good. Transition onto your back. Hands under your booty. Leg lifts and leg lowers. Here we go. You just lift your legs up. Come down nice and slow. You can amplify by lifting your torso up. I like to flex my feet as I come down, point my toes as I come up. You can amplify even further by adding a little hip extension at the top. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, check this out, check this out. Figure four crunch. Right ankle comes across left knee, flex your foot, hands behind your head, crunch. <sighs> Extend. <sighs> <sighs> Exhale when you come in, crunch. Inhale as you come down. <sighs> oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys got it. Figure four. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, figure four crunch. You got it, you got it, got it. From here, we will come onto our left side or whichever opposite side for that side plank. You have five, four, three, two, one, and change. So good. Okay, come onto your left side or whatever side you didn't do for those extensions, same side and crunches, weight or no weight. Bottom leg is down, three, two, one, let's go. Crunch, extend, and crunch, extend. Yeah, yeah. Hips come down when you crunch, hips come up when you extend. Oh yeah, getting into that waistline. Each time we crunch, tighter and tighter, Exhale when you come in, <laughs> exhale when you extend. We're going to those elbow crunches in three, two, and one. Come all the way up into your full side plank or that kicks down, elbow crunch. Here we go. <sighs> oh yeah. <sighs> From here, stay here for now. From here we'll go to those little knee touches, little knee touch crunches on your back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come back onto your back. Feet in a wide-legged burpee pit or wide-legged bridge position. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Good, reach, reach, reach. Go as far as you can. Belly button back towards your spine. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Exhale up, inhale down. Five, four, three, two, one. Heels up, feet up, opposite hand, opposite foot. Let's go. 
Good, cradling your neck if your neck is tender. Keeping those elbows wide. Engaging our lower abs and our upper abs with feet up. Back to that side plank crunch and extend after this. Same side, almost there. You have five, four, three, two, one, and change. So good, side plank. Reach, extend, reach, extend, reach, extend. Reach, extend, we got it, we got it. Good, up and down with the hips. Lift them up, bring them down. Good, going to those elbow crunches after this. Couple more, three, two, one. Side plank. Elbow crunch, three, two, one, let's go. Good, squeeze that lower glute, bring those hips up. Nice and slow on the elbow, bring it down nice and slow. Oh yeah. From here, we will go back to that figure four crunch, but on the left side. Stay up, stay up, stay up. You have five, four, three, two, one, and change. So good. Figure four crunch, left leg, left ankle on right knee. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, flex both feet. Good, keep your elbows wide. Keep your gaze up to the ceiling. Your heel, your right heel just touches down. Leg lifts and lowers after this. Three, two, one, and change. So good, leg lifts and lowers. Three, two, one, let's go. Point them up, flex them down. Torso is up or torso is down. Hips can pop up at the top or you can just do leg lift. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got this. <laughs> Exhale up, inhale down. <sighs> breathe, 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 breathe. We got it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Just five, four, three, two, one, and done. Woo! Such a great job. Hammering those abs, hammering that core. Okay, take a sip of water, maybe towel off. We're gonna stand up. How are you guys doing? We good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see thumbs up, Rachel. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stand up. Here's where you can grab your waist if you want, completely optional. So, I'll walk you through each move. So you're gonna start with your right leg forward, okay? We're gonna step back to a lunge, so your left, your left leg is gonna step back into a lunge. So 90, 90 with your knees, all right? If you wanna add arms, you're gonna come up in a stork position with your left foot. Okay, so you're gonna do, be doing lunge, come up and stork. If that's too wobbly, you can just come up and touch with your left leg, okay? And then to add the arms, just narrow bicep curls, <laughs> like so, <sighs> all right? From there, we're gonna do stationary bicep lunges with a hammer curl, all right? From there, we'll get into a plank position and we'll be doing a plank, down dog, but we're gonna to touch opposite hand to opposite angle. Back into a plank, opposite hand to opposite elbow, really using your core to get you into that down dog position. From there, we're gonna stay in our plank. You're either gonna step it out. So it's like a runner's lizard lunge step out. So right leg steps out wide, right leg comes back, left leg steps out wide, back and in. If you wanna add cardio, you can flip it fast, like so. But beware, because after that, we have burpees, all right? So don't worry, I'll remind you of all of these moves. 
We've got those five moves, two rounds. So go as hard as you can, okay? Starting with those lunges, step back with a bicep curl. Right leg forward, left leg goes back. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Step it back, dork. Oh yeah, shoulders down. Step out wide so that you keep your balance. I recommend finding a drishti gaze. Making sure that the front knee stays behind your toes. Three, two, one. Come back into that stationary lunge. Come down, up, down, up. Hammer curl, down, up. Don't worry if you don't have weights. Inhale, exhale, good. Shoulders back and down. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Really focusing on that right quad. From here, going to those plank down dogs. Three, two, one. Here we go. Come down into a plank. Opposite hand, opposite foot, down dog. Here we go. Plank. Oh, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go. 10 more seconds of these. And then we will go to those plank step outs, those plank lizard step outs. Or you can amplify and do those pump lunges. Three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So you can do it fast, or you can do it slow. One leg at a time. In your plank position, good. Keep your booty down. Oh yeah, booty's going up and down. Burpees coming up off of this. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your weights with you or not for the burpees. You can add a front shoulder press. Three, two, one, let's go. Come down in your frog squat and up in your frog squat. Breathe, breathe. From the top after this, one more round. Three, two, one, and change. Yeah, yeah. Same leg. Right leg forward, left leg steps back. Bicep curl, let's go. Come up in a stork, left leg. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. Keep the knee behind the toe. Woo! Step it back wide. Five more seconds. Stationary lens coming up with a hammer curl. Three, two, one, and change. Set it up. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, yeah. Driving up to that right foot. Shoulders back and down. 90 90 with your knees. 10 more seconds. Plank down dog coming up. Belly is tight. Three, two, one. Come down into your plank. Woo! Three, two, one. Let's go. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. Oh, yeah. Let's go. You. Good. Keep those booties down. Use your core to come up. Okay, those lizard plank step ups coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, hold on. Let's go, let's go. Stepping in or hopping in. Oh yeah, Casey, I see you. Get it, girl. Go, go. Oh yeah, let's go, Rachel. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. So good, so good. You had 10 more seconds. <sighs> Burpees coming up. In three, two, one, change. Good, burpees, with or without a push-up, with or without a front shoulder press. Three, two, one, let's go. You. Last better work for this side. Woo. Let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Come down with good integrity in that frog squat. You can hop back to your plank or you can walk back. Explode, right here. Five more seconds, you have five, four, three, two, one, and you are done with this side. Woo! So good, thumbs up. How we doing? High five. Oh yeah, okay. We gotta do the other side. So we're gonna change it up just a little bit. Just listen for the cues. Uh, yeah, okay. So you have options when we get to those lizard step outs. So you can either stay here with those planks or you can do side plank to side plank when we get there. So check this out. Side plank. Bring your elbow down to side plank. Side plank to side plank. Or you can do those lizard step outs when we get there. We are also going to add, instead of the plank down dog, plank down dog, we're gonna get in like a down dog position, bend your knees slightly, spread your fingers wide, and you're just gonna come down in like an upside down front shoulder press. All right, I'll kick you when we get there. For now, your left leg is gonna stay forward. Your right leg is gonna come back. Wide bicep curl, short. All right, and we'll do stationary lunge after that. You guys ready? Let's go, let's set it up. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Right leg come back, come up and stork, good. Wide bicep curls, like a W. Good, keep those elbows in front of your ribs, nice and slow and controlled. Keeping that left knee behind those left toes. Stationary lens coming after this with a hammer curl. Three, two, one, set it up. Right leg is back, wide stance, let's go. Down, up, down, up, good. Belly is tight. Shoulders back and down. Oh yeah. Woo! So good. From here, we're gonna get into that upside down shoulder press. We got five more seconds right here. Three, two, one, and change, good. Hands down, down dog, bend your knees. Let's go, come down and up. So the crown of your head comes down, your elbows go out. Inhale down, exhale up. You got it, you got it. Okay, from here, remember you're either doing that side plank to side plank, or those lizard hop step out. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I'll start with side plank to side plank. Good, good, good. Nice and slow and controlled. And then burpees after this. Here we go. We got it, we got it. Side plank to side plank. Almost there, burpees in three, two, one. Come up. 
adding that front shoulder press or that push up. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, yeah. Just 30 seconds. You have way less than that right now. You are halfway there. Whew. Giddy, giddy, get it. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, last one. Yeah. Woo, from the top. Here we go, left leg forward. Step that right leg back. Let's go, come with me. Oh yeah. Wide bicep curls. Remember, if your balance is off or if it's windy where you are, you can always just step it. Tap your foot. Stationary lunge. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's set it up. Hammer curl. Three, two, one. Let's go down and up. Down and up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Beautiful, slow and controlled. Upside down, front shoulder press coming up after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Change, down dog. Woo, bend your knees, elbows wide, let's go. Come down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Oh yeah. Five more seconds, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good transition. Lizard lunge hops or side to side plank. Let's go, three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna do my lizards this time. Last round of burpees for this set coming up. Let's go. Come on, come on. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, all the way. Two, one, change. Burpees, here we go. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Come on, go all the way with me. Oh yeah. Already halfway. Come on, almost, almost there, almost there. Last five more seconds, hard. Three, two, one. Woo! Change. So good, so good. Beautiful, high five. Whew. Okay, you guys, take a sip of water. Towel off. All right, we'll just do two rounds. We didn't, um, I wanna get a little back extension, a little more back work, so a little more cardio. So we're gonna do just two rounds of a hybrid burpee mountain climber with a swim. All right, so you're just gonna come down, hop it back. One, two, three, four, come up and up. So this is the first move, three, four, and up. Second move, you guys know this, on your tummy, either arms extended or arms in back, you're gonna swim. All right, we'll bring the heart rate down a little bit. All right, that's it. Those two moves, two rounds, we are done. Go hard, all the way to the end. Let's set it up. Hybrid burpees, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, good. Good, come up, squat down, hop it back. Four mountain climbers, 
Pop it up, come up. Good, 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 breathe, breathe. Woo, you're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. Yeah, come onto your belly. Woo, we'll swim it out, three, two, one. Let's go, I'm gonna put my arms in back. My shoulders are always a little bit tender. Woo! I call them yoga shoulders. We gotta take care of them. Swim, 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 good. Point your toes. Either way, bring your shoulders down away from your ears. Good, squeeze your booty. Tuck your chin. Create length. More about length than height, but bring your torso up. Up, up, up. Swim, swim, swim. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, come up, back to those hybrid burpees. Last round, best round. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Woo. Last round, best round, let's go. Woo. You made it to your mat this afternoon. Let's go, let's finish strong. Might as well. Halfway there, way over halfway. Let's go, let's go five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Change, swim it out. Three, two, one, and go. Swim, swim, swim. Oh yeah, oh yeah, point your toes. Squeeze your butt. Pull your pelvic floor in, tight. Good. Come on to the soft part of your belly. Torso comes up, gaze is down. Swim, swim, swim. Here we go. Five, four, enjoy it. Three, two, one, change. Woo! So good, so good. Amazing. Okay, y'all. Come into child's pose when you are ready. <sighs> so knees can be wide. Or knees can be narrow, depending if you want to stretch out more your lower your back or your hips. Forehead comes down to the mat. Really good. While well, this is a relaxing pose, make it an intentional pose. So spread your fingers wide. Good, maybe even tensing onto your fingertips, tensing the palms of your hands. And imagining your tailbone sinking down deeper and deeper. Finding your breath, coming back to a normal cadence, allowing your heart rate to come down. Good, on your next inhale, come into a tabletop position. Couple rounds of cat cow here. So start by an exhale. Inhale, arch your back, look up at the ceiling. Good, exhale, it's almost like a tuck and curl with your pelvis. Round your back, spread your scapulas, butterfly them out, good. Inhale and arch. And exhale, tuck. If anybody has, keep going a couple rounds on your own. If anybody has lower back issues or sciatica, Doing cat cows a couple times a day will be super helpful in alleviating that discomfort. Doing, doing Pilates every day will help with your lower back pain, engaging your glutes so that they don't stay dormant, pulling on your lower back. Good, good, good. And when you feel complete with your cat cows, just make your way onto your back. So we will also do a couple of figure fours here. So take your right foot, flex your right foot, bring it across your left knee. Flex both feet and if you can, come through, thread the needle, keeping that right knee wide, flexing that foot to protect your knee. Uh, that should feel really good with that right hip, right hamstring, right glute. 
And if you want to go deeper with this stretch, you can plant your left foot down onto the mat, keeping your shoulders square, and then bring your right foot into a twist. So bring the right foot to the left, stamp your right foot down over to the left side, and then gaze over to the right, keeping both shoulders on the mat. On your next inhale, come back to center and then plant your right foot down. Bring your left ankle up and over. Left side figure four, thread the needle. Crane around, grabbing either your shin or behind your thigh. Couple breaths here. And if you wanna go deeper, you can plant your right foot down and bring your left foot over to the right side into a nice twist. Extending your left arm long, looking over to the left side. Beautiful, beautiful. When you're ready, come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Stretch out your hamstrings and then consider Stretching into the tightest ball that you can possibly stretch into. Bringing your forehead to your knees. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as you inhale, 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 and then release into Shavasana. I really want to encourage everybody to take just 60 seconds of rest. Rest is so underrated in our productivity centric society and I really say this from um, the pulpit of practice and not from perfection this is more a reminder for myself 60 seconds just be here in your body you'll be so surprised how when you notice your body and notice how you're feeling from the inside out you will feel all the tingles really feel the effects of the vibration that you just created. This is such a good time to honor not just what your body can do physically, but the energy it produces. Honoring all the mechanisms, honoring the immune function that you have, honoring your health. Maybe taking time to send gratitude to your heart, which beats day in and day out without you telling to do so, asking nothing of you. And then maybe just a little bit of rest. Obviously, stay for longer than 60 seconds if you're body and your mind allows you to do so. I thank you guys so much for choosing to come to this class. I think it is so important, not just for our own personal well-being, but in times of uncertainty and when we maybe feel out of control, uh, pent up anger, sadness, rage, just get it all out and then move forward with a more positive raised vibration. This community, I love you guys so much. We've got a couple of serious standbys here. Thank you so much. And again, um, contact me if you need links to donation sites. I have tons of resources if you guys want. You all brought the power and your practice. And I see you. And I hope that you have an amazing weekend. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. I'll stop the recording, you guys. Obviously, stay as long as you want, but um, if you need anything in the chat, let me know.